just want to snuggle this mystery machine pillow all the time when I sit here. <coughs> What's going on everyone? Welcome to this video. So today we are doing basically a Q&A, but I wanted to do it a little bit differently. So there is this new trend kind of going around Instagram where there's this app called NGL, which stands for not gonna lie. And basically people can send you anonymous messages and you don't know who they're from. And then you can post them, answer them and whatever. I had done it once on my Instagram which if you guys are not following me on Instagram, you guys should. But I thought it'd be fun to do this as a Q&A. That way I have no idea who's asking these questions. So I have not seen the questions yet. I have my iPad here. I took a screenshot of each of the questions, uh, but I have not looked at them. I don't know what they're going to entail, but yeah. So I just thought this would be a, an interesting way to kind of put a twist on this trend a little bit. And so, I mean, if you guys asked any questions, thank you. You know who you are. If you want to call yourself out, you can. If not, you don't have to either. So let's jump in. First question we have here says, What is your favorite episode from the Scooby-Doo show series? My favorite is to switch a witch because it is set in Salem, Mass, Salem, Mass, and I'm from Massachusetts. Hey, that's awesome. So... Scooby-Doo show. Um, well, because you said to switch a witch, which also kind of goes into that weird season three, Scooby-Doo, where are you, whatever. My favorite episode of the Scooby-Doo show is Watch Out the Willowa. And that's the first episode of season three of the Scooby-Doo show. And Scooby-Doo, where are you? You know, that whole thing is complicated. But that's my favorite episode. I've always enjoyed that aesthetic and i thought the villain was unique it's not really i mean it can be scary if you really think about it i honestly think the weird 10 six foot whatever owl men are more scary than the actual willowa but i don't know i've really i always just enjoyed the aesthetic of that episode and just the whole thing of they had to go help velma's uncle and everything um, I don't know. That's one of my favorites, and I feel like it's a very underrated episode. So, yeah. Next question we have here says, You excited for the Scooby-Doo Sensi collection to be released? Definitely will be getting the Scooby plush. Yeah, so if you guys did not know, there is going to be a Scooby-Doo Sensi collection um, coming, I believe, in August. I believe it's next month. But I'm excited for it. I don't know how much of it I'm going to get. I definitely want to get the Mystery Machine melter the wax melter i want to get that and probably the actual like scent the key, the wax scents i probably will get that maybe the scooby plush um but I, I i'm hoping to get a few of the items at least a few of them um i think that's a really fun and unique collaboration with you know sensi scooby-doo and sensi that's not something you would you know automatically kind of assume i think it's a really fun uh collection collaboration um, for Scooby-Doo, you know, that's been around for 50 plus years at this point. All right, next question says, why can't you beat me 1v1 in multiverses? Listen! Okay, if you guys don't know, multiverses is a platformer game that has recently released, that is being released, uh, but it combines all these different franchises and characters, of which right now they have Shaggy and Velma from Scooby-Doo. But I w I've been a part of all of the testing that they have been doing. I think the tests originally started in November and whatever. But I've done all the tests and whatever. And uh, right now, as of recording this, they are in early access open beta. And since I was a part of all the other tests, I was guaranteed a spot in early access. And then July 26th is when open beta starts, which is where everyone can basically play and it's a free to play game it's on every platform except for the switch so if you guys guys i really recommend this game it's a lot of fun i've been addicted to it since it came out in early access me and my friend riley have been playing i'm honestly guessing that's who asked this question but um listen i'm not the best i really am not it's just a lot of fun for me to play anyways so um, yeah, if any of you guys do start playing, let me know. Let's be friends. Let's play together. 
you know what, maybe if I can ever get my streaming stuff set back up, we could do multiverses streams. That would be actually really fun if people would join and play. All right, next question says, besides Disney Channel movies, Scooby-Doo or Spring of Carpenter, what other shows, movies, or music do you like? I like, okay, I like, I know you said not Disney Channel. Well, you said Disney Channel movies. Um, so one of my current favorite shows, and it's my comfort show, uh, as you guys maybe know, if you've seen some of my other videos, is the Disney Plus show, High School Musical, the musical, the series, season three. It's just days away, and I'm so excited. I love that show so much. Another movie I love, it's actually my favorite movie non-Scooby-Doo, is Clouds, which is a Disney Plus original movie. Another one of my really favorite movies, though, too, is A Beautiful Mind, if any of you guys have seen that. I watched that first in high school and have really enjoyed it. Um, one of my favorite movie franchises is Jurassic Park, Jurassic World. Love those movies. Dominion was so good. Uh, but I also love the Planet of the Apes movies, the new ones. I haven't seen the old ones, and I know I really should. But the new ones, I really enjoy that. We have like a new series or movie or something coming soon. Really excited for that. Um, music, I love the Chainsmokers. That's another one of my favorite bands. One of my very underrated favorite bands is an Australian rock band called Dead Letter Circus. Um, I love One Republic especially their latest album that came out almost a freaking year ago at this point, uh, Human, um, but I also love their album Native, um, so One Republic. Um, yeah, those are some other things that I, I enjoy. Um, so yeah, I don't know. I, I mean, Flintstones, I love the Flintstones, Wizards of Waverly Place. Um, oh, I'm watching Only Murders in the Building right now. That's, that's a really good show. Uh, I finished up Love, Victor. That was such a good show as well you know i i've tamed down on what i watch as i get older than what i used to watch in like when i was younger like the amount of stuff and i know there's a whole lot i need to watch camp cretaceous jurassic world camp cretaceous that's really good iCarly, the new iCarly is really good too oh i watch stuff i do Besides Scooby-Doo and Disney Channel movies, I do it. I promise. <laughs> okay. The Sonic movie too was really good. Anyways, now I'm just going off on that. Next question. Favorite show you watched while growing up? So besides Scooby-Doo, I loved Wizards of Waverly Place. That was one of my favorites. Um, Foster's Home for Imaginary Friends was great. Uh, Fairly Odd Parents, Jimmy Neutron. Those were really good ones I used to watch. Uh... Sweet Life is Zack and Cody, I'd watch. I was never, like, totally, totally into it like everybody else. But I enjoyed it. Um, there was... I mean, Good Luck Charlie. Uh, I never really watched Shake It Up. Um, iCarly. I watched the original iCarly. Uh, there was... There was a movie, I remember, on Cartoon Network called Reanimated. And then they made a TV show based off of it called Out of Jimmy's Head. I remember that. Um, yeah, I don't. I don't know. I'm like just sitting. It always makes me think. I'm like, what did I even watch? What did I watch? I swear, I always just like watch the same stuff. Um, like really. But there's there's some answers. There's. I hope. I hope. Yeah. Anyway, next question. Can you do something like a top fifteen IMDb movies rankings? IMDb movies like my top movies or like I see what the top rated movies are on ID IMDb and do like a ranking of them. You know what I want to do soon is a ranking of the zombies songs now that all three movies are out. Um, but I mean, I, I'm open to it. I'm open to it. Uh, all of your guys' suggestions for videos and stuff I put in a notes a page in my phone and then kind of either do the idea, play with the idea, whatever. So don't worry. I got you. Next question. Would you like to see a character from a past Scooby-Doo film make a comeback in a future Scooby-Doo project? Crystal and Amber. I will die on this hill. Crystal and Amber from Alien Invaders is... <sighs> That's my top. That is my top. Uh, but uh, to be honest, I really want Scooby-Dumb to come back as well. Like, it's, it's Crystal and Amber and then Scooby-Dumb and then Scrappy. 
please, please. Next question, Were your worst habit. What is my worst habit? I feel like we all have habits that we don't love about ourselves and stuff. Um, what is a habit? One that I have gained in the last year is not picking up my dishes and just like, because I eat in my room a lot and I just kind of leave my dishes until they pile up. And that's been something that I picked up in the last year and I want to stop. Something else I've started in the last few months is staying up until like four in the morning. I used to be a freaking morning person and now I'm like, Waking up at like 11 or 12 every day. And I'm like, what happened? <laughs> oh, it's not good. My sleep schedule is not good. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Uh, but overall, like a habit, a habit I've always had is I will let my room or my car get like, not like dirty, but just like messy, like cluttery, just like put stuff on the floor, or leave stuff around and whatever. Like it doesn't get dirty. It just gets cluttery. And I wait and wait until it starts to drive me crazy. Like I don't just pick it up over time or whatever. It's just like, I'll let it get messy. And then I'll have a night where I'm just like, okay, I can't do this anymore. Pick up everything now. And then the whole process starts over and over. And I just, I need to get in the habit of just, just put stuff away as soon as you're done. Like just, you know, if it doesn't go there, then just don't put it there in the first place. <laughs> yeah. Next question. Who's your last Instagram search? Are you asking my last Instagram search? Oh, I'm about to call myself out. Who did I last search on Instagram? I'm actually genuinely like, who was it? So we're going to go see my last. Instagram search if it'll pull up. I'm sorry. My my iPad is really old and this <laughs> My iPad's old and it's super slow. Ah uh, yes. Okay. Here, I will take a screenshot so I can show you guys. My last Instagram searches was Levy because they commented something on my Twitter and said they were from Instagram. So I went to go search them and be like, okay, who can I put the Instagram face to this face? And it was like, ah, there we go. My other search was someone who runs a high school musical, the musical, the series fan account, because I was looking for a video because they posted uh, a snippet of the first original song that we're getting from season three uh, from Joshua Bassett, uh, Ricky, that's his character. I am so excited for this song. Here's a random side tangent that y'all didn't ask for. I'm so excited for this song. It's called Finally Free. And it just seems like it's going to be this, like, the summer song for me. It's going to be, like, my life's next chapter anthem. Um, because uh, there's a lot of stuff has gone on in my life. And I've had to make choices and decisions. And I'm ready, ready to live my free life now. Like, here we go. And I'm just like, this right here is going to be my anthem for that. There you go. There's there's your answer. Next question. I love you. I don't know who you are, but I love you too, random citizen. If you want to call yourself out, you can. If not, that's, that's fine too. And that's it. Oh, what a sweet way to end that. That was so cute. Oh, well, there you guys have it. Those are the questions that you guys sent through there. Um, if you guys would like me to do another Q&A, because I know, again, not everyone follows me on Instagram. Y'all should. It's fine. But if you guys want me to do another, like, uh, Q&A where I expand it, you know, like, across YouTube and Twitter and Instagram and stuff. If you follow me elsewhere and whatever that you can have a chance to ask questions, let me know. I'm open to doing another, you know, Q and a here in the future, but I wanted to do a little fun one this way and whatever, but hopefully you guys learned some things about me. Let me know in the comments below. If you guys do have any questions, I can answer some in the comments because I do read every single comment. I may not respond to them all, but I do read, try to, I try 
I try my best to read all the comments. So, anyways, guys, thank you for whoever did send in questions. Uh, really appreciate it. That was fun to go through and answer them. But that's going to do it for this video. Hit that like button. It's always appreciated. Helps me out. Press subscribe. That helps me out as well if you're new here. If you're not new here, then again, press that like button. Got it? Got it? Good. So, guys, that's going to do it for this video. I'll catch all you lovely, beautiful people in the next one. Goodbye.